Welcome to the Juniper Network's video demo series on endpoint security and WAN acceleration. I'm Kevin Fletcher. So Juniper's latest SLVPN version, IV6.5, is really stepping up to the next level here. Um, now they're delivering enhanced endpoint security, which is on-the-fly malware scanning, uh, and the new Juniper WX WAN acceleration client. Um, so Juniper is really stepping up to the next level because they're delivering everything that you need uh, on the fly. So you have what you need to join the session, you have what you need to get things done, you have what you need to keep yourself protected and to keep the network safe. Um, so really Juniper has innovated here. Um, they're doing something that no other uh, remote access solution does in existence today. Okay, let's start off with the WAN acceleration demo. Um, we're basically going to open a web browser to an SLVPN login page. And this particular sign-in page has a realm associated with it which has uh, endpoint security policy, a uh, host checker rule that wants to load a third-party DLL, uh, and that is the WAN acceleration installer. So here you can see the WAN acceleration installer has been invoked and we're running through so this is uh, just a DLL that we wrote and it calls this installer EXE. Uh, the DLL is part of the endpoint security uh, API, the JEDI API. So actually let's take a look at the client here, pull this up. So the client shows you, you know, transferred, received, um, percentage compression, it'll show you what protocols are being compressed, uh, TCP acceleration data, SIFs of course is supported. There are some logs that you can set up here, um, set up MTU size, things like that. There's some diagnostics. Um, so you notice the UI actually kind of looks a little bit like uh, Network Connect and of course we did that on purpose. So here's the DLL I was talking about. Um, these first few files are actually uh, the WAN acceleration settings. The DLL here is what we wrote, which calls the installer EXE and does the actual installation of the WAN client. So let's take a look at the admin console. Uh, well, let's look at the host checker rules here. We've created a new third party policy. And essentially, what we've done is we've just uploaded the zip file that you saw a moment ago. So that we just uploaded from here. And right now we do have two zip files. One actually loads the client, the other one loads it and uh, invokes it. Um, of course, we prefer the latter. Uh, and this was just enabled as part of a realm that was bound to that user's sign-in page. And this is where you would set up such a binding. You just go in here and check these boxes. And the second one actually does test to see if it's actually invoked versus just being delivered. So that's it. It's very easy to set up the Win Acceleration solution. Uh, now let's take a look at Enhanced Endpoint Security. All right, so this is Enhanced Endpoint Security. Uh, I'm going to warn you up front, there's not a whole lot to see here, uh, and that's part of the beauty of this. Um, it's very slick, it's very simple and integrated into the web browser. Um, there's not a lot of prompting or notices that have to pop up in front of the user. It says it's scanning and it's done, and that's really the extent of it. Um, if you get your login page, you know it worked. So um, it can be very seamlessly in implemented in a solution. It's not very intrusive. Let's take a look at the admin console here. This is the uh, 65R1 beta 2 code. Here under endpoint security, you can see we have the option to enable this. It, it was called AED. We've since renamed it to EES uh, as it hasn't quite shown up in the beta releases just yet. Um, here you can see once it's been enabled at the global level, uh, it's now an option for your realms. And you can enable it here or at a role or as part of a custom expression. So uh, very simple, very easy, non-intrusive, lets users continue doing what they're doing. All right, well, thanks for watching the video demo on our two new agents. For more information, please visit us on the web at www.juniper.net.